Warning. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Consult a local expert and several field guides for proper identification before use. Failure to do so may result in sickness, injury, or death. Large-leaved aster, also known by its Latin name as Astro macrophyllus, is a member of the aster family and it also belongs to the aster genus. This plant is a perennial, meaning its lifespan is longer than two years, and it grows in a habitat of dry woods. This plant grows between one and four feet tall, and has a violet or lavender flower, which is rarely white, in bloom between August and October. This flower head has seven or more regular parts or petals, and the stalks of the flower clusters bear minute glands. The plant has alternative leaves, and the leaves are toothed, large, heart-shaped, and are three inches or wider with a long stalk. The basal leaves are thick and rough. Large leaf aster has been used in the past for both its edible and medicinal purposes. As for its edibility, the young leaves can be cooked and used as vegetables. Leaves become tougher as they age, so choose the younger leaves closer to the top of the plant. The roots can be cooked and used in soups. As for the plant's medicinal purposes, the Iroquois used the roots as a blood medicine. They also created a compound decoction for the use as a laxative or venereal aid by combining bloodroot, hook crowfoot, black snake root, and sweet sisleys. They would put four roots of each plant in five quarts of water, boil the water down to one quart, and then they would drink half a quart at bedtime, then half a quart the next morning. They advised not to use meat or salt for four days, and warned that it will loosen the bowels, and once is enough. The Ojibwe used the plant as an analgestic. An infusion of the root was used to bathe the head for headaches, and as for an unspecified use, the young leaves were used as both food and medicine. 